Hey guys, Dr. Angelia with Surgical Arts and IBI Healthcare Institute and we're going to talk about something very special today. We're going to talk about wow shot for men as well as girth shot. So we've been doing this procedures for quite some time in our practice but never really talked much about it. So the way patients find about it usually by talking to friends or we mention it to family members and they refer their um, other friends and family members. But basically what it is, wow shot is where we take person's blood, we spin it out, we take basically all the healing cells out of it called PRP, and then we inject it back into person's body parts. So the most common place we'll see it is usually for the face, rejuvenation, wrinkles, things like that, wound healing. But now we can also inject it into penis. So for men, especially as they get older, we can see different medical changes. Um, also, if there's medical conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure, certain medications can cause for things not to work like they used to. So by injecting those healing cells back into the penis, we will stimulate it to one, grow more blood vessels. It's a very vascular organ, right? We need to fill up those blood vessels during uh, intercourse right for penis to get hard that what needs to happen so PRP will stimulate more of the vessels to stimulate the growth as well as sensitivity it will rejuvenate some of the nerves so there is better sensitivity to the organ so that's been around for quite some time it goes by many names some people call it P shot some people call it wow shot some people call it PRP shot it's all under the same roof basically can it be repeated? Yes, can be repeated as many times as needed, usually no closer than four weeks apart. There's no reason to do it any closer than that. If we're treating medical condition, we can use it more often to treat medical condition. If it's just that for sensitivity, usually people know when to come back. In my practice, at least I don't make it as a regular, uh, like let's say you're gonna do four treatments every month, you're gonna come and get the shot. I don't do that. In my practice, I would do one shot, we we'll give it at least 30 days to start working. We'll see how you do, and then you know when to come back. Um, you'll know how your sensitivity is. You know how your performance is. You know when to come back to me. It could be six months. It could be one year. It could be three months. Uh, everybody's going to be slightly different on that. Now, girth shot. Uh, remember, we do all these procedures, and sometimes the names just come up. I don't know, from other doctors, from uh, their advertisements. Uh, there are many ways to call it, but basically what it is, is injection of hyaluronic acid filler into the penis, okay? It has to be done correctly. You have to understand anatomy. Don't let anybody else inject <laughs> things into your penis um, because obviously there's a lot of disaster stories. Uh, but if it's done in professional environment by a trained doctor with appropriate injectable solutions, which is usually hyaluronic acid uh, made by reputable companies, basically the same filler that we put in the lips, our face, and other parts of our body. We inject usually several syringes at one time. We we'll let it settle. We'll bring you back a couple of weeks later, do another session. We can repeat several of those sessions, okay? That will increase the both thickness and sometimes length of the penis as well. So in my practice on the first treatment, I will combine both of those fillers and PRP at the same time. Then if you come back for a sec second session, we're not, we don't need to inject PRP second time most of the time because usually it's within that four week period. Most people will come back in two weeks and then wait another two to four weeks, come back for the third session of fillers because most of the time I break it up into three sessions. Do I have to do three sessions all the time? No, sometimes I can make it into two sessions, but again, it's also a personal choice, right? Um, you will be the only one who would know how much bigger you want to be, how much thicker you want to be, and you also will know what your sensitivity is like. So this is something for men to decide on how many times, how often, in the beginning. Obviously, there's a limit to everything and we will stop you <laughs> before you go too much, too, too much. 
So hopefully that explains things. I know that there are some specials going on in my office in February for some of those procedures. Um, it's low downtime, really there's no downtime. I usually just tell patients to avoid sex for about 24 to 48 hours after the shots. Uh, minimal bruising, if any. Um, it is pretty painless uh, when we do it. We do use numbing cream for analgesia, meaning first while we're waiting for setup, if we're drawing the blood and spinning the blood out. During that time, there's a numbing cream uh, on penis, so you don't really feel much. Uh, I also do nerve blocks, meaning I actually inject numbing medicine, which again, you're not gonna feel much already because it's already been numbed with the cream. So there's like double numbing medicine that's happening. So haven't seen anybody having issues tolerating it. Um, and again, minimal to no downtime from that procedure. If you have any more questions, make sure you contact our office. Um, we can obviously answer questions on the phone. You can come in for consultation. You can send us messages on Instagram at Surgicare Arts and uh, let us know what else we can do for you. Hope this helps.